welcome to bsc statistics students so in this lesson i explained central limit theorem so for all central limit theorem i uh, explained for iid random variables as well okay uh, first of all is here what is the statement of uh, what is the uh, statement of central limit theorem it was uh, uh, it was started by laplace Central limit theorem, it was started by Laplace and uh, later on it was proved by Lyapunov. Laplace and Lyapunov. These are the here uh, two particular uh, mathematicians uh, uh, have developed this central limit theorem. What is the statement of central limit theorem? For example, you consider x1, x2 and so on xn are uh, n independent random variables, independent random variables with mean expectation of xi is equal to some mu i and uh, variance of xi is equal to sigma square i that is sigma square i, i is equal to 1, 2 and so on n, that is expectation of x1 is equal to mu1, expectation of x2 is equal to mu2 and so on expectation of xn is equal to mu n, which are means variance of x1 is equal to sigma square 1, variance of x2 is equal to sigma square 2 and so on, variance of xn is equal to sigma square n, we can consider variances of these variables x1, x2, xn, that is the meaning here. Then if you consider in general uh, the random variable Sn which is nothing but uh, x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn. The meaning of this is sum of n random variables. Sn is nothing but sum of n random variables. Then it is following uh, asymptotically normal distributed. Asymptotically normally distributed with mean mu this has this is following a normal distribution normal distribution uh, with mean uh, uh, mu is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n mu i and uh, the variance uh, sigma square is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n sigma square i sigma square i so with mean this and with variance this which one sn follows so sn is having sn is having a normal distribution is following a normal distribution with mean summation mu i and variance summation sigma square i hope you understand this is what the central limit theorem the standard uh, with the specific uh, mean and standard deviation uh, this is we can easily um, prove and we can easily uh, uh, take the mean and variance uh, we can easily prove the mean and variance uh, for this particular uh, sn that is for this particular random variable so if you consider the random variable sn is equal to x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn that is sum of the n independent random variables why this theorem is uh, existed uh, uh, still uh, because of the reason that uh, what is the distribution of sum of n independent random variables it is also following a normal distribution with mean summation i is equal to 1 to n mu i and with variance sigma square summation i is equal to 1 to n sigma square i this is the simple statement of the uh, central limit theorem hope you understand central limit theorem means asymptotically normal distribution that is uh, what we have to consider central limit theorem means uh, the sum of the n independent random variables uh, distribution of the sum of the n independent random variables is nothing but uh, normal distribution asymptotically normal distribution with mean summation i is equal to 1 to n mu i and variance summation i is equal to 1 to n sigma square i that is all. Now, I define central limit theorem for IID independently and identically distributed. IID means independently and identically distributed random variables. For example, you consider x1, 
x2 and so on xn are independently and identically distributed normally with means uh, which which means uh, expectation of xi that is uh, mean expectation of xi is equal to mu i independently and identically therefore it is mu and the variance of xi is equal to sigma square i independently identically distributed therefore it is sigma square so expectation of x1 is equal to mu1 expectation of x2 is equal to mu2 expectation of xn is equal to mu1 so that is uh, all mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to and so on is equal to mu1 is equal to mu which are same all random variables having the same mean similarly all random variables having the same variance that is sigma1 square sigma2 square and all equal sigma n square is equal to sigma square that is the meaning then uh, the the distribution of the sn that is uh, xn is equal to x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn that is uh, sum of the n independently and identically uh, norm distributed normal uh, distributed uh, variables we can consider sum of the sum of the sn is nothing but sum of the independently and identically distributed random variables random variables which is asymptotically it, it follows again uh, normal distribution normal distribution asymptotically normal distribution with mean mu is equal to n into mu i because all, all are same let it be mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu i he was considered mu i sigma 1 square square sigma 2 square sigma square i okay a common one and uh, variance sigma square is equal to n into sigma square i so this is nothing but mean and variance of this sn not visible i'm sorry the sn is the sn following uh, that is the sum of the n independently and identically distributed random variables the distribution is a normal distribution asymptotically normal distribution with mean mu is equal to n into mu i with variance sigma square is equal to n into sigma square i if you consider mu i and sigma square or else if you consider uh, uh, mu's then n mu n sigma square right so this is what the central limit theorem for independently and identically distributed random variables hope you understand this this is the central limit theorem thank you